I'm having a hard time getting the pump in, so I'm gonna. What's up, YouTube? Back at you guys with another video. Today, we got some parts that came in for the 1972 Buick LeSabre. As y'all seen in the story video on the last one, I was not too happy about what happened. But hey, y'all know how it goes. You can't cry over spilled milk. It is what it is. We just gotta address the issues. Uh, yes, y'all see me clean shave. Y'all gotta watch the short video. My daughter cut my beard, so yep, had to clean her off. Uh, yeah, so all the cars are dirty. We got all we got the all the new parts in, and we'll get right into this video right after this intro. Peace. You know I came through. You know I came through. You know I came through with the fuego. You know I came through. You know I can do with the fuego. You know I can do. Hey, you know I can do. Nowadays I cannot lay low. I cannot lay low. Yeah, I cannot lay low. You know I can do with the fuego. You know I can do with the fuego. You know I can come with the hot shit. Talking to town, I'm a top it. Bitch, young and so fly, I can cockpit. If I ain't the party, it's not lit. Stop all the talking, I'm popping. But to be honest, this shit is not shocking. I wanna be rich at the moment. All right, guys. Now that we got that out the way, first things first, oil pump. So. What I checked, and I did some research on YouTube, trying to figure out maybe this was the issue. I was taking measurements of the spacing and stuff uh, to see if the torque converter and the flex plate was right. And then when I went and got new parts for all this stuff, they gave me everything different. So I don't know if they gave me the wrong torque converter or what. But, man, y'all can't, can't see it. I was going to show y'all how these little tabs are moving in there. They're not broken, but there's two tabs in there. Uh, but they're moving around a little crazy. Excuse me, my allergies, always. They're moving around a little crazy in there. And then when I check the new one, it's pretty solid in there. So, like I said, y'all can't really see. So, first things first. I'm going to grab some tools in my freaking big mess over here. I need to get all this cleaned out. I need to be able to get the 75 out. We haven't drove her all summer. We didn't drive the vet all summer. We didn't drive the El Camino all summer. We're trying to get this car going. So, it's crazy. But, uh, yeah, let me get the tools together. First, we got to pop the pan off. Uh, remove the filter and a couple other little things. This this uh <laughs> this uh impact is a little overkill, but that's all good. I couldn't find my little one that's somewhere. Around. But uh, really, get out of there. But we'll get everything popped off. Uh, I got a new filter. I got a new oil pump. I got a new torque converter, new flex plate. Got everything new. Let me knock these off, guys. All right, the battery did go dead on me. So, we need to remove the pump first. I mean the filter. Sorry. It's got oil all in it. I wish I had somebody record. This thing splash on me. Hold on, y'all. Golly. Let me get this off. So you do have to remove the filter and this other clip. So. I'm gonna be pressure washing this driveway, man. 
All right, that's out. Then you remove this blue clip. It's blue or green. Didn't break. That's good. And then there's like a snap ring back here. That I can't see. Golly. Let me get some light, guys. So, it's a little snap ring right here. We're going to pop him out. Try to. I wonder how hard it's going to be to put that back in there. <laughs> Probably pretty hard. Alright. That's out. That's a sensor. And then we got to move, remove the... I think this is called a CCT or something. But if you don't take this out, it's going to break when we pull the pump out. So, let me find the socket for that. All right, we got a 10 mil. We'll take these out. And then, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, I bought the, the tool to pull this pump. So, we'll be doing that. that this, online, it says this is all you need to do. Hopefully, it's right. I hope so. We'll pop both of these out. Remember how all this Remember how all this goes. There we go. That's out. So we'll pop that out. Two 10 mils right here. We unplug that other sensor and a snap ring on it that was inside of there so that's about it guys um, on this front side we'll unbolt all of these and then that tool will latch on in this groove and pull the pump out so we'll move our light over here camera over here we'll see if we can get that knocked out today I don't want to be doing this on my days off. I've been doing working on this every time I got time off. So I want to get this thing running. We need to pull the tires off. Get the tires ready. And once we got it moving, we can start sending this thing down. Paint, get rid of rust, and do all that other stuff. See y'all in a minute. Alright guys, let's get them pulled out. I had to take me a little break. That's a lot of work that goes into building these cars, guys. So if y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. It'll help me out. All these parts we gotta buy and all this stuff. So. I gotta look up the torque on this. Anybody know the torque? Drop it in the comment section. All right, so we got our oil pump puller right here. So we're gonna see if this gonna work, brand new. So we'll check this out. Let me get it bolted on there. And this. I don't know, it's supposed to be a lock-up oil ring over here or something, but this transmission don't got one, so I don't know, we might need to look into that. Maybe that was an issue. I should have, uh, 
Dang it. I should have got the wrenches and stuff ready before I turned y'all back on. That's all good. Tool tightened up. Uh, it was 11 millimeter. So we tightened it up with a wrench and a socket. But this ain't a how-to video, guys. We just trying to get the car going. Uh, let's see if it comes out now. Yeah, I think. A little old, old trick right here. Got everything out they said take out, so. Something's moving. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. Yeah, see that oil coming out? And this is the first time I've ever done an automatic transmission like this. I've worked on diesels. Well guys, I broke the bolt on the puller. So, I gotta try to find something this skinny. It's probably gonna be hard to do. I might have to go to the auto parts store. Well guys, I went to all the auto parts stores. Nobody had a quarter inch, uh, two and a half inch long bolt. All they had was two inch. This is two and a half. Well, the broken one over there. But anyway, this is the same thing, but two and a half. Sorry guys, I lost power again. Well, memory card. But anyways, I couldn't find that broken bolt. So I'm gonna try to take the bell housing off. I got one of them, one of them broke loose. And then the rest is giving me a pain in the butt. So I was messing with the pump and it was kind of like kind of off like off on one side so i got it evened out now i'm gonna try to pop it out with a pry bar and then if that don't work i'm gonna have to pull this bell housing but if i strip one of these it's a wrap it's done it's over with so that's where i stand uh i'm gonna try to do this part off camera if i start getting it to move i'll turn y'all back on guys well, that's it for tonight. I couldn't find an adapter for my big half inch impact to break the bell housing off. And my little 3 8 it wouldn't do it. And a breaker bar wouldn't do it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow and get the right boat for the puller. And we'll continue to pull it out. Uh, at this time, we just gonna cover it up. We'll see y'all tomorrow, guys. Alright guys, it is a whole nother day and uh, man, I had to get a new boat. I tried to get one last night and nobody had one. So I put a new boat right there, a stronger boat right here. I should have went ahead and changed that one, but I didn't. But uh, yeah, so we got it to break loose. So now we're going to show y'all. She's uh, moving with ease and then somebody drop down in the comments and tell me if I need a lock up oil ring because this thing that had one on there I wonder if that's something that caused a problem hold on you know what Woo! I was just fixing to say you know what this stuff is going to go everywhere uh Waddy well we can put the hand right there I was gonna tell you a couple more rags. Okay. So as y'all can see, she's coming on out. Bam, there we go. Hopefully this is our problem. We're gonna get it on the table. 
and uh, kind of look at it. All right, give me a second, guys. I gotta get some rags. Okay, we got it set on the table. Now we're gonna look. See, see if we can see if this thing is broken. Well, it better be broken because we already pulled it out. We're not putting it back in there. Ain't a core on this because I ordered it off one eye. gasket puller. I knew I left something. I mean my seal puller. The old fashioned way. Tear it up. Alright. We got it out. Well now what we looking for Dang, I don't think it's broke. Shoot. <laughs> I don't think it's broke. Well, the thing's moving around a lot. So maybe this broke. Heck, I don't know, guys. Let me... Y'all want to separate it and uh, open it up? Y'all got to give us a thumbs up. Y'all want to separate it and open it up? All right, hit that thumbs up button. Let's go ahead and open it up then. I'm going to check and see if y'all hit that thumbs up button too. Though. We have to spray the mosquitoes. They're going crazy. Uh. What y'all think about all that stuff going on in Florida? It's crazy. Dad? I think there was a uh, tornado. Hurricane. I mean a hurricane. Yeah, it was. All right. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I probably still flipped it around. Dang it. It wasn't broke. So what was wrong with this thing then? I know. Man. <clears throat> Show him right here. That don't look broke to me. Yeah, it does. God, I bought that for no reason. It ain't broken. Nope, it sure ain't. And I was gonna put it back in, man, and I was just like, dude, I don't wanna... I don't wanna put that back in and then... Gotta pull it out again. So, wasn't broken. I think it was the torque converter, guys. The whole time. It, it wasn't doing right. So, we got a new torque converter. Okay, so, the old pump wasn't broken, but we're going to go in with the new one. We got the new gasket. Uh, GM original part number 12337931. Original part, so hopefully, we, hopefully it'll work. Maybe it's something I missed. I don't know. Uh, I can't remember how it was. I think it was like that. Uh, yeah, that's gonna suck. Trying to put that in there like that. Maybe I should. Get over here and show them. No, like. Let's 
take it back a little bit. Golly. I don't know guys, what y'all think? Let me uh Maybe I can hold a gasket up with the boats. Cause look, it's moving too much. It's moving way too much. I'll put one right there. Put one over here. I don't know if y'all can see. Hope y'all can see. Can they see, brother? Mm -hmm. Let's do... No, that ain't right. Man, dude. This is gonna suck. Maybe we can use a little bit of grease to kind of hold it on there. That's lined up. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? It's just bouncing around a lot. You could probably put a little bit of grease on it to hold it on there. I don't think that I hurt it. Let's try it one more time. Maybe we can get it in there, guys. Okay, we got it stuck on there, the gasket. See, it ain't flopping around no more, so we will see if it'll stay. Uh -oh. Come on. All right, let's see if we can get it in there. The battery went dead, guys. That's gonna go right there. No, I think it was. Guys, y'all hold on. I'm gonna have to just get it stabbed off camera. Well, I'm having a hard time getting the pump in, so I'm gonna try to remove the bell housing again. Well, it is day three. Let me show y'all what we got going on today. So I got some uh, some guides. I cut these bolts off. So to guide it and I got it flipped over upside down so we can get this thing on here straight and that's going to hold that um, gasket in place also. And then I found out online that these rings right here, that's what hold it up. So this dude, I forgot his name, but he said put zip ties on it for about half an hour and uh, just keep tightening them up a little bit and it'll help seat them. So we're going to try that guys. The zip ties are off and we're going in with the pump. That did help it line up a lot easier. But it did stop kind of like exactly in the same spot. So I'm going to need two hands to do this. But uh, what I'm going to do, turn y'all off and I'm going to uh, hit it with my rubber hammer. See if it go down a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, well, let me see. Two hands, guys. Oh my goodness, guys! Never again. I'll just buy a whole brand new transmission if I ever do this again. So, y'all see what I got going on? Longer bolts. I got these nuts on here, 
and I, I'm pushing it down slowly and then hitting it working my way around this is crazy yep I want to do this no more let me see how much more I can get it in there three hours later guys finally got the pump back in there I ended up using the old one putting it back together checking everything the new one wouldn't go in for nothing so but I, I ain't gonna never do this again so we're going to torque uh, the boats to 20 foot pounds and then I'll put the bell housing on and I still got to put everything back together in the pan. Guys, I wish I would have checked this first. I thought I checked it. I guess I didn't. Well, I knew the torque converters was different, but look at this. So this is the one they gave me. I can't see because I'm trying to see what y'all can see. So let's say inch and a half inch and a half right there to the notch where the oil pump kicks in all right here's the brand new one let me hold on guys let me roll it a little bit so y'all can see that's gonna be Hold on. It's like inch and a half to the notch and then two inch. It's two inches long. Let's check this one again. I know I'm not tripping. I can swear that's different. It is different. It's shorter. My bad guys. Yep, it's shorter. Pull it back. Yeah, it's shorter, guys. So that's why it didn't destroy the oil pump. Cause usually it'll destroy the oil pump if someone right, uh, like shimming wise, spacing wise. But shoot, it, it didn't never even touch the tabs on the oil pump because the torque converter was too short. So that's the issue. Uh, I'm putting the bell housing back on and uh, I think I'm gonna finish I'm gonna get this ready tonight and then tomorrow we'll slap it back in I'm probably not gonna record I'm just gonna show y'all us finally getting the car moving and operating that'll probably be the next video I appreciate y'all rocking with the silky smooth gang we'll see y'all in the next one peace